What's going on everybody? It's your boy Nate Matthews from NeverDenyMe.com. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. And if you guys are interested in learning some new machinery with me, make sure you guys subscribe to this page if you're not already subscribed. If you are, man, y'all might want to pick one of these up. The link is going to be below. And watch me and see the new stuff that I'm getting ready to make with these bad boys right here. We're going to break these boxes down today, see what's inside, see what each of them uh, actually include in the box. And then we're going to go ahead and start making some new projects with these here machines. Today's video is being brought to you by NeverDenyMe.com. Make sure you take a look at the website for all your graphic needs. Anything from digital to physical. Now both of these machines are sergers. One is the 1034D and the other is the 1034DX. Now you guys can already tell by the uh, just the name of it which one sounds newer. This is actually like the fourth machine that I've had. So technically this one right here is number five as far as a serger goes. Now why did I have so many of them? Did anything go wrong with them? No. However, every single time that I ordered one, I kept seeing better deals. So I was just shopping around trying to get the very best deal that I can get. And I uh, actually finalized and I think I'm going to settle for this one right here. Enough talking though, man. I'm actually going to break these things down. I'm going to show you guys the box. We're going to start it off with that. We're going to put this one to the side for now. So the first one that we're going to get started with today is the 1034D. As you guys can see, the box on this thing is very plain. You regular cardboard box with the image of the machine, 1034D. Let y'all see it up close, you feel me? There's no details or nothing really on the box outside of the uh, website and stuff that I got it on. But we're gonna go ahead and use our handy dandy razor, straight razor right here, man. Stay tuned, man, if you guys are interested in learning stuff about beers as well. I got them shave videos on my other channel. Subscribe, hit the card that pops up. Let's see what we got here. So it does come with the manual and the warranty. Top cardboard box, what is it gonna come with here? We have, comes with the foot pedal right here. This one right here is the, I forget what this is called, like the fabric catcher, because if you guys are not familiar with the machine that we're reviewing here today, it's a serger, so it sews and cuts your material at the same time. So you can use this to actually catch the material that is being cut. Uh, what do we have next? Okay, I might have to throw this on the ground and unbox it from the floor because the machine seems to be a little heavier than I initially thought. There we go. Couple of tools here. Looks like we got some tweezers, um, the feet, a spool cover. Looks like three spool covers at least. Some caps. Looks like we have four needles. Y'all probably can't even see it. Anyway, it's pre-threaded already for us. So we got our blue, green, red, and yellow. It's already pre-threaded through the holes. And let's actually let you guys see the reveal first from your side here. We'll go ahead and lift it up and boom. So this is what it's looking like right here. So I thought it was gonna come with a lot of other stuff, but it looks like everything is already set up here for us. If I can actually get this lever to be raised, I can show you guys the, actually it's right here. Boom, so on the side. Okay, so we learned already. This is our lever to lift the uh, foot right here. And this is what it's looking like. So we do have the material already into the machine hooped up. So this is what kind of uh, uh, finishes that you can get with this that you're not really able to do with the sewing machine. Um, I actually might throw up some pictures to just let you guys know. There was a piece that I actually bought separately for my brother SC1900 sewing slash embroidery machine that allowed me to, well, what it said it did is like kind of turns that machine into a low key serger. However, after using it, it worked and it worked good, but it didn't really work that great, y'all. But if you guys are interested in it, it is very, very, uh, much more budget friendly than getting a whole new setup right there. It's actually just a little different foot that I put on the machine. And I think I actually made some piping and stuff with it. If I still have it, I'll take a picture and show you guys that as well. But again, on the side here, these are some of the settings here. So we got, it starts off at the smallest one, 0 0.7, or can it actually go even lower? Yeah, so it looks like 0 0.7 all the way up to uh, 2.0 there. Um, I don't know what none of this stuff means really. We're gonna figure it out, we're gonna figure it out. I watched a lot of videos. I seen some people making some cool stuff with it. So this is the reason why I had to decide to pick one up for myself. You guys might be laughing at me now. I, I understand, man, some of y'all might be laughing at me because I don't know what I really ordered just yet. But a lot of y'all probably did the same thing when y'all seen the cool stuff I made with the embroidery machine. So don't laugh just yet. Just give me a minute to actually figure this thing out and we're gonna start making some cool stuff with it. All right, so we got another little setting thing right there, right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and put this one off to the side. Oh, it's got some, some stick feet too. 
All right, y'all hear that? So it's got some uh, grippy feet at the bottom to keep it from sliding around on your table. So I really do like that. Really do like the nice small uh, form factor of the machine here. And now, woo, we're gonna get into this one right here. This is the newer one, I believe. The Brother 1034DX. This machine right here has been out for at least like nine years, maybe even like 12 years. Something like that. It's been out for a very, very, very long time. So all the reviews and stuff like that are amazing for this. However, when you look the reviews up and stuff for this one, they are amazing. However, it's not as many reviews as this one. And I wanted to see why is that? Why is the new one not have as many reviews? And obviously it's because this one has been out for so long that not that many people actually was able to pick this up because they probably already got this one that works. Um, I'll tell you guys some more differences though as soon as we get into it. So actually, let's show you guys some of the details and stuff on the box. If you guys actually use a serger um, and you make YouTube videos or you're on social media at all, uh, feel free to contact me, ask me to check out your stuff, and I definitely will do that. So y'all can probably teach me, you know what I'm saying? I'll show you guys what I know, show you guys some of my skills and stuff like that on my channel. Put me on game with y'all, which y'all which ready to show me, man. Show your boy Nate Matthews some stuff, help me out. It looks like not only do we get the, uh, the manual, but we also get a disc right here, a little learning CD, so I guess... If y'all don't want to help me, I guess I could just watch the little DVD or whatever right here. Red catcher, I don't know the exact name for him, but again, you click it onto the machine. White balance is kind of looking pretty bright over here today, man. So we got the little catcher thing right here. We have another uh, presser foot. Looks like it comes with pretty much the same accessories as the last one. I'll take off the little thing to reveal the machine. It does look like it is pre-threaded. The threader is a little bit different on this one. Let me show you guys a little close up once we take this out the box. Comes with the same colors again in the same order too. Blue, green, red, yellow. Um, this one, okay, I thought it was kind of crooked. This thing is plastic right here, whereas this one is metal on the old ones. The weight on them seems about the same. It looks like all the, the knobs and all the settings and stuff like that on this one are all going to be on the left side right here versus this one. I'm behind it. I don't know which angle y'all seeing it at, but okay, so that's on the left. So this is all going to be on the right. So as you guys can see, all the settings and stuff like that are on the right hand side. So that would come in handy depending on if you're left handed or right handed, I guess. Um, another big difference, well, I guess not a big difference, but something that was important to me when I came deciding if I was getting the 34D uh, or the 1034D versus the 1034DX here is also the way that the, uh, the lighting system works. So this one on the original, it uses a regular light bulb. And as you guys know, light bulbs do not last forever. So when the light bulb goes out, you are going to need to replace it. Now it might last for a very long time, but anything with a light bulb is going to need replacing. This lighting system, however, uses an LED system, which, you know, it's, it's better on energy and stuff like that. So this one is not going to ever need to be replaced. Um, as far as what the way they look and stuff like that, their capabilities, they are both able to uh, stitch at 1300 stitches per minute, um, both of them. So they're the same on that. Um, from what I've learned and actually what I see here too, the texture on the little dials is different. So again, on the 1034D, this is how the uh, the dials and stuff like that are looking here. They have a lot of uh, texture. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to pick it up on camera. And please drop a comment below if I'm correct, if you guys already have one. But the way that you have to thread this thing is actually tricky. So you have to thread this one first, then this one, then this one, then this one. So it goes backwards. Whereas on the newer model, everything actually goes in reverse order. So it goes one, two, three, four. So that's gonna be a lot easier for me to remember, even though it's not one, two, three, four, it's pretty much four, three, two, one. But yeah, you do this one first, second, third, fourth. Whereas on this side, one, two, three, four. And that's gonna be kind of tricky to learn, but you gotta keep this in mind as well. If you guys have already had different type of sergers and they're all standard, you know, stitching a certain way, Going over to this one, you, you're going to want to be very careful not to mess up your machine and stuff like that, right? But again, branding, 1034DX, 1034D.
and this has been my quick unboxing review comparison the fast version of the brother 1034d versus the brother 1034dx right here now if you guys want to stick around to learn with me as i learned to actually use these machines if you guys want to see some cool projects and stuff that i'm going to be making with these or either of these make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the thumbs up button on this video if it helped you out at all if you guys are interested in picking either of these up the links are going to be down below and i'll catch you guys in the next project